Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your December reading. This is Daisy, aka Professional High Priestess. Sagittarius. So Sagittarius is ruled by the planet Jupiter, and Jupiter is a planet of expansion. A fire sign, um, favorite color could be purple. Sagittarius represents the traveler and the truth seeker. Sagittarius rules over the ninth house of philosophy, okay? They like travel, fun, things like that, but at its lower vibration, Sagittarius can be too much of a... Um, running with the Joneses type of energy, okay? So that's your energy, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. Even your Mer Mercury sign can uh, pertain to this. So let's get into it. Just hold on, we're going home. What messages do you have for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising for this month? Spirit guides, ancestors, way showers. What messages do you have for Sagittarius this month? All right. What messages do we have for Sagittarius? Okay. What messages do you have for Sagittarius? Nicki Minaj is a Sagittarius. What messages do you have for Sagittarius? What messages do you have for Sagittarius? Okay. What messages do we have for Sagittarius? We'll put three more cards. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node. All right. Just hold on, we're going home. All right, Sagittarius, so straight off the bat, I don't know what's going on, but it seems to be a something with your housing situation. Um, Because I see the tower here with the Four of Wands reversed, okay? It may be a situation where... um. This relationship, there wasn't a lot of really good communication with the Hermit card. The Hermit card is all about, like, this can be, like, someone ghosting or distancing themselves, isolation, you know, introspection. But I feel like this needed to happen because I see the King of Cups here in reverse and I see the Queen of Wands here in reverse. These are people who are really not in their element, right? So the Queen of Wands in reverse, you could be dealing with someone who has a lot of anger problems. Sagittarius, you are a fire sign, so this could be you really going to war with somebody right now with the queen of wands in the reverse she's all about rage that type of thing uh with this king of cups who's like basically emotionally unavailable towards you who's probably like ignoring you etc you can also be involved with some like someone who's married the king of cups in reverse is also a married man who's practicing infidelity okay and then the two of wands is like okay now needing to pick a path this is similar to some of the other readings. I don't know. And maybe you have uh, Pisces in your chart. But Pisces got some of these cards too, right? Change in a housing situation. End of a friendship. Breakdown of a relationship. And also I see with this Tower card and this Hermit card here too. This is also the beginning of a spiritual awakening for you, Satch. Okay? Because the Tower is all about like things being destroyed and broken down so that something new can be put in its place, right? And then with the Hermit card, that introspection card. Yeah, I definitely feel like you had a major awakening about something and it caused a Tower moment here. Okay, and then this four of wands in the reverse, it's like the breakdown of a re of a, 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 a relationship or a household, okay? Now, let's get into some of this, um, let's get into the Morgan Greer to clarify some of these cards. Clarify the tower for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. Okay, the Ten of Cups came out in the reverse. Yeah, so this is the breakdown of a family situation here, a long-standing commitment, okay? Um, let's see... What is the Four of Wands in the reverse? Four of Wands reversed for Sagittarius. Yeah, with the Four of Wands again in the reverse. So yeah, I definitely feel like there was, there. this could have been a divorce, but this was for sure a breakup. It was explosive. Something may have come out, maybe cheating or infidelity, especially with this King of Cups here in the reverse. Clarify the King of Cups reverse for Sagittarius. Clarify the King of Cups. Listen to even what Drake is, yeah. I for sure feel like there's like some, um, there was some cheating here for sure because the King of Cups is, comes with the Page of Cups in the reverse and then the Knight of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, this is like harsh communication, aggressiveness, oppressive energy, Six of Cups on the reverse in the bottom. Yeah, this is the end of this relationship and situation, Sag. This King of Cups could have been very emotional. This Queen of Wands could have been very, uh, sorry, uh, manipulative. But I feel like this person is not even responding to the communication or you're not responding to their communication. I feel like someone's trying to give love offerings and messages and it's being ignored with the page of cups here in reverse. Yeah. If you had my love and I gave you all my trust, would you come to me? Huh? 
Or if you somehow knew that my love was not untrue. Huh. Come on now. Say it, Drake. Something's going on here. This is the breakdown of a long-standing commitment or relationship. Yeah, there was definitely house involved. There could have been children involved in this situation. Okay. What's the Queen of Wands in the reverse? What's the Queen of Wands reverse? What's the Queen of Wands reverse? Ten of Wands. Yeah, it, this, this situation was a burden. I feel like now, Saj, after going through all this chaos, the tower moment, the breakup, you may have found out someone was being um, uh, uh, unfaithful, etc. You're going into hermit mode now. And going into a deep space of reflection, reflecting on how the situation and why it happened. Okay? Because this King of Cups, this person is no longer interested in the situation. And they're, and they're not going to be because they're denying offers and they're ignoring communication with the Knight of Swords. And when they are having communication, it's very blunt, honest, brutal, and hurtful. Okay? What's the Two of Wands for, for Sagittarius? Yeah, Ace of Cups in the reverse. This is all about a breakup. Uh, 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 emotional repression. Okay? Yeah, for sure. There was a breakup. With, I see the Nine of Cups in the reverse and the Ten of Cups in the reverse. Four of Wands in the reverse. These are the relationship cards. It's over, Sag. You know, so now it's time for you to really figure out, okay, what I'm going to do next. Like, I need to get myself together. I need to go hermit mode. I need to cleanse myself. I need to heal myself. And then I need to figure out what's going to be my next path. What am I going to do next? You see the world card on, on the bottom of the deck. The world is all about the end of cycles. And I feel like this situation with this individual, because the world tool is all about um, Saturn, lessons of Saturn, this person, you and them, could, it could have been a karmic relationship between you and this individual, right? So check your chart and check their chart to see if you guys have any Saturn synastry or 12th house synastry or Pluto synastry there. But for sure, this relationship is over. That's the end of this cycle. It was a lesson for you so you can learn more about yourself. Okay, Sagittarius, it was a lesson for you to learn about codependency, to learn about equal give and take, to learn about, you know, what is this Queen of Wands in the reverse? This is a Queen of Wands is someone who portrays a lot of like um, a, a, a gusto and and, a, and arrogance and, and a, um, know it all, but is really insecure on the inside. But this is also someone who has rage issues, but doesn't take care of themselves. They put other people too much before themselves. And then with the Ten of Wands clarifying it here, yeah. You know, this situation was a burden, but, you know, it was a burden that you willingly took on, Satch, because you knew that this person was, you know, with the shit, okay? Clarify the Hermit card. What's the Hermit card? The Hermit card with the Seven of, yeah. So the Hermit card with the Seven of Wands, Sag, your energy definitely is coming out here with all these Wands cards. But the Seven of Wands is all about, you see him, it's all about like blocking something out, defending something, right? So with this Hermit card, it's like this person could have just blocked you or ghosted you or not responding to you at all, okay? Something else that I could also see happening here is like you are now going to start defending your spiritual like you know, growth and advancement, that's going to be more of a worry for you than, you know, dealing with this relationship, this 10 of cups. But the fact that I see two tens here and then the world card is, it's two tens as well as 20, right? X and X. This situation is dead. It's a karmic completion. And I definitely feel like this was a karmic relationship to teach again, to teach you something about yourself, Satch. Okay. So let's see here. What card was that? All right. Let's get into your, um, Queen of Wands again. Let's get into your crystal messages and your numerology messages. All right, Sag. So what are some numerology messages for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node? Messages for Sagittarius. Messages for Sagittarius. Okay, so Saj, the first card that we have here is spiritual career. And this is exactly what I was saying with this tower card and this karma card. You're going to be going into a space where you're going to be figuring out that like, your spirituality is more important to you than any of these relationships, right? And that this relationship was probably like deterring you from, you know, having that spiritual career. Maybe you're a healer. Sagittarius does rule over like healing and philosophy, okay? So, you know, uh, if that's something that you're interested in, I feel like you should start to get back on that path and it will help to accelerate your healing process from this situation. Domestic harmony, especially with the four of wands reverse, is it, it could be someone's moving out or someone's getting kicked out, right? There could be an instability in the household, right? With this domestic harmony card. So this is asking you to, how can you focus on creating more domestic harmony, especially with this tower here, okay? And this four of wands twice in the reverse, okay? 
And then I also see the abundance card here too. So Sag, I feel like, you know, after you get out of this situation and after you heal yourself, you're going to be able to tap into an abundance. And, and it doesn't have to be monetary. It could be new friends, even a new partner, etc. right? But also, this can also be like thinking about the ways in which you've blocked your abundance by being in this situation. Um, because sometimes when we're in karmic relationships, you know, the longer we stay, the more we suffer. You could have even been giving a lot of money to this person, you know, paying their bills or they paying your bills, etc. And now you have to really think about what does abundance mean to you? Is it all just materials or is it like your spiritual health, your emotional health, right? Because those are also forms of abundance too. Okay, Sag? Let's get into uh, your crystal messages. Crystal messages for Sagittarius. Yeah. Crystal messages for Sagittarius. Crystal messages for Sagittarius. Crystal messages for Sagittarius. All right, Sag. The crystal messages that we got is emerald. Prosperity, okay? Just by looking at the cards, you can pick up the energy from these crystals. I love that. Affirmation. I have a prosperous mindset. I know that I live in an abundant universe and that I'm always divinely provided for. Yeah, Sag. And that's going to, the, the abundant, this goes right with the abundance card for real. And I really honestly feel such that there could have been like some financial mismanagement in this situation. Um, it's like, you know, that, that stupid term that they say in the hood, AOB all on a bitch. Like maybe someone had that mindset or someone was, you know, like manipulating you. If you're a man, you were being manipulated by this person, you know, for money, etc. Okay. Especially be with all these cards that I see out here. Because the King of Cups can be very manipulative and the Queen of Wands can be, can be very manipulative too. Dominating what she wants, what she wants. And then the other card that we got is Tiger's Eye, Personal Power, okay? This is Solar Plexus. I definitely feel like there could have been like some Solar Plexus, especially with all the yellow in this Four of Wands and all the yellow in this Seven of Wands, okay? And it says here, I am courageous, I am powerful, I am confident. So, Sag, whatever situation has happened here, it could have really impacted your self-esteem and your ability to believe in yourself, okay? So, really get into some tiger's eye because dealing with some of these karmic relationships, they can really impact our health in negative ways, right? And then you got Labordite, magic. This is one of my favorite crystals. I have one of them right here, too. Um, and it says, um, oh, oh, and on the crystal, it says, it's fucking magical if you can see that. I love this crystal. And it says here... Affirmation, to add sparkle to my life, I sprinkle my day with the mystical, magical, and light field. And this goes with the spiritual career, Sag. And with this hermit card and this tower card, really like go, getting deeper into your awakening. Really figuring out, looking at the ways in which your lack of spiritual growth or your lack of awareness or paying attention to your intuition caused you to be in this situation, okay? That's really what I'm seeing here, Sag. So let's move forward. Um... I wish you the best, Sagittarius. If you need deeper insight into, you know, what's going on with you, just contact me, okay? And I'll be ha more than happy to give you a reading. But yeah, it's definitely time for you to progress. This situation had to happen. The fact that the tower is here with the hermit, I definitely feel like this was divinely guided. It's like the universe had to step in and destroy it, create the tower for you to understand that this is not, you know, this was blocking you from your path, two of wands. Now you have a new path to go ahead and blaze. And it doesn't include this past relationship. There's there's not going to be a new renewal, okay, with the Ace of Cups here in reverse. All right, Saj, that, that's your reading for um, December. Just know I'm going to be doing another reading regarding um, what to expect with the uh, solar eclipse, so lunar eclipse in Capricorn, and then also with uh, your 2020 forecast. So be on the lookout.